Hi guys, so today's video is my review of The Secret History by Donna Tartt. It took me so long to read this. I don't know why. I think the main reason why it took me so long to read this is because of the writing. First of all, the font is so small compared to like normal books. And second, I just felt like I was reading a Stephen King book because of how descriptive she is. She adds so much. She adds too much. She adds too much, in my opinion, for a book. So I did find myself skimming through a bunch of it just because I wanted to get to the next part. I wanted to get to the next day or like 10 minutes later. So she would explain something for like three whole paragraphs. And that's just too long for me. It's too long. Yeah. <laughs> because I just don't feel like all of these words were enough to build the story. I just think it was just extra word vomit and she just wanted to put it all and it kind of felt like she didn't have this edited at all. That's a few things that I did not like about it. Sorry, my hair is a hot mess. But I did give this book a four star because it's just, it's good. Um, I enjoyed it. I would give it a five star, but because she just adds so many paragraphs, I had to take it down like half a star. And also I took it down half a star because her audiobook, <laughs> I listened to the audiobook like throughout like half of the book. It's all on YouTube, so you can listen to it and read along with it. But her voice is so different. Like I've never heard someone have like a voice like that, which I really like, but along with that, the audiobook was just reading so slow. I put the speed on two and it was still not fast enough for my reading speed. So I just had to knock it down that as well. But I did really enjoy this book. I think I do want to get it in hardcover because I will be reading this again. Um, I'm really glad I finally read this. It took me so long to start a book. I have just been in a reading slump for a physical book for like two months now. Um, and I think it's because I just read so many Kindle books. I just could not get myself back into reading a physical book. But now that I bought a bunch of new books, as you can see on my bookshelf, I'm pretty excited. So my makeup looks a little weird. I'm trying new products. I don't know how I feel about it. But I really like this as my first, well, technically this is my second Dark Academia book because my first Dark Academia book I read was Agatha Khanna and I really love that book so much. She's coming out with another book and I cannot wait to get it. Let me see if there's any pages. Let me see where I bookmarked. Okay, so I did start highlighting some, but then I stopped. So one of the scenes that really freaked me out <laughs> is when, one of the parts that freaked me out about Richard is when he was staying at school over break. I don't know why he didn't go home. Like he should have just gone home. I don't, I don't know why. It's really weird. But he stayed at this pub and like he is so broke. He has nothing. Um, and this place is really run down. Um, like he stayed at the apartments on top. And apparently it was so cold he did not have any heater. He did not have any money to buy food or anything. So he was literally starving himself to death over winter break. And did not think to ever bother his parents and ask them for money. Which is so weird. But... He got so depressed and this is what he said. This is page 119 by the way. This was, I should say, about the third week in January. Thermometer was dropping. My life, which before had been only solitary and miserable, became unbearable. Every day in a daze, I walked to and from work, sometimes during weather that was 10 or 20 below, sometimes during storms so heavy that I could see, that all I could see was white and the only way I made it home at all was by keeping close to the guardrail on the side of the road. Once home, I wrapped myself in my dirty blankets and fell to the floor like a dead man. All my moments, which were not consumed with efforts to escape the cold, were absorbed with morbid, pole-like fancies. One night in a dream, I saw my own corpse, hair stiff, ice, and eyes wide open. So that was crazy. Like, he literally did not think that he should bother anybody to get help. He would rather die in this winter for, for what? 
Like, for what? Why would you do that? At that point, I feel like I would call anybody and ask for help. So he had like a part-time job at school and he would go work there during the day and stay warm. Sometimes he would stay in the library all day until it was closing time and then he would walk all the way like downtown or whatever to his apartment for this winter and that's like where it was. Yeah. Okay, and so at this point, he was literally on the break of death. He probably would have died the, that night, but Henry, I believe, Henry made it home. He left early from his vacation to go see Richard and that saved him. So that was pretty scary. I literally didn't pick the book up after a few days because it was so descriptive. I was kind of scared and just traumatized for a little bit. So, I mean, her, her over sharing and like over details did work at that point. <laughs> But for the rest of the book, no. <laughs> the whole killing part, that was insane. That was pretty good to... That was interesting to read. Um, I didn't think that... Didn't know that there were two books in one. That explains why it's like so descriptive, I guess. And I'm pretty upset of why they killed Bunny. So, I mean, I was annoyed with Bunny like during all of this. But I'm still upset that they killed him. Like, you didn't have to kill him just because you were annoyed by him that much. <sighs> you could have just told him to kick rocks and leave you alone but you didn't so yeah <laughs> so i really enjoyed this book recommend you guys reading this and checking out the audiobook on youtube if you want to like learn about the author and like hear her voice because she does read this and i think that's pretty cool um so overall four stars and i'm excited to read the next book which i will share with you guys in my october TBR. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and don't forget to leave me a comment and I will see you in my next video. Bye!